Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam rcc column and also for slab reinforcement details also we have some common mistakes in the construction of this project so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is floor beam construction and this is one of the big project this is four story commercial building now let me guide you for size of beam and its steel reinforcement. Guys, you can see clearly the depth of the beam is 18 inches, width is 12 inches. At the top portion, guys, we have four steel rods at the bottom also, four steel rods, two are sidebars. Dia is 16 millimeter. Now, guys, you can see to the distance of L by 4, we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment they provided here extra steel rods instead of this extra steel rods you are able to provide crank bar or bent up bar but crank bar and bent up bar are economical compared to extra steel rods guys you can see here they provided four extra steel rods to the distance of l by four as you can see guys stirrups details so they did some common mistakes in the construction of stirrups spacing is maximum they did not follow the steel structural drawing for this portion hooks are bent on 90 degree so this is also one of the big mistakes so it should be provided on 135 degree unfortunately they did not follow steel structural drawing for stirrups also guys if you see lapping is uh, actually uh, the stirrup hooks are maximum which should not be more than three inches here guys you can see the spacing is about nine to ten inches it should be between 100 to 150 mm from four to six inches four inches or 100 mm should be provided to the distance of l by four where we have negative bending moment after l by four you are able to provide for 100 50 mm but unfortunately they did about 300 mm or sometime 250 mm as you can see guys extra steel rods they provided here so the spacing of column is about 22 feet we have 10 steel rods two are side bars four top bars four bottom bars dia is 16 millimeter stirrup dia is 8 millimeter spacing is not okay if you are working on construction site so you should remember these things which i am telling you as you can see guys they provided the hooks this is the end of the beam hooks length is about six inches why we are providing the hooks because it can make a, so this is hook or you can say development length it can make a good bond between steel and concrete guys you can see clearly four steel rods at the top four at the bottom two are side bars guys you can see here this is the junction between beam and column but they did not they did not provide extra steel rods here so this is also one of the big mistake you can see the farm work which they did properly they did some common mistakes in the construction of this floor beam steel reinforcement because i think they don't have the site supervisor to guide them for steel reinforcement guys you can see clearly that is the column column size is 18 by 12 inches we have total 12 steel rods dia is 20 millimeter for beam we have 16 millimeter now guys you can see this is the construction of slab they provided bent up bar or crank bar at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment guys you can see this is floor beam on the top of that they provided extra steel rods as well as they provided crank bar so the crank bar or bent up bar should be provided with the angle of 45 to 60 degree so it's okay now guys you can see here this is the floor beam actually in single uh, in single way slab or one way slab you should provide bent up bar or ex, uh, bent up bar or crank bar on one side but here guys you can see this is two way slab so therefore we have crank bar on both directions to resist negative bending moment as you can see clearly the spacing is four by four inches we have double mesh here
in the farm work you can see the gaps so they paste the plaster on the top of that these kind of practical videos can help you if you are working on construction site as you can see all the details this is the top portion the other one is lower portion especially for the basement they did as you can see guys development length they provided in this floor beam the development length should not be less than 6 to 9 inches hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.